Hey guys, welcome to Figure Action. Uh, this is Matt Partsformer, and I'm going to be bringing you a quick look. I know we don't normally do reviews on this channel, but I got this guy in a little early. Uh, he shipped out yesterday from Mezco. This is the Mezco Rumble Society Hawk P40, uh, brand newly released as of this video date. And uh, this is the standard Rumble Society packaging that you get. Hawk P40 at the bottom, nothing fancy around. Barcode, Rumble Society. And uh, let's see, so it's magnetized, and there's the artwork you get of Hawk P40, very nice. Uh, so the facial, uh, the head sculpt is based somewhere between a P40 Warhawk from World War II and a shark, like it's um, Hammerhead. So there's the insert, and there's nothing in the box, because I already took everything out, because this is going to be a quick look. I don't want to waste anybody's time. So put that off to the side. And here's dude. Right here. Adjust the camera. And this is your guy. This is Hawk P40 and all his glory. So as you can see, he's a very stylized thing. Machine person dude. That uh, That's what Rumble Society does. It's their own creations. It's their own characters. They come up with their own fiction. So if you don't recognize him, it's because he never existed before they came up with it. So, take a look at the details. Like I said, it's got the head, that stylized head, front, good paint apps on here. I, I'm not a big, like, paint connoisseur, so I'm not going to go through every color because I don't care. It just looks good. Lots of stuff on the back with some plugs here. You'll see what that's for in a few minutes. And that's it. Uh, out of the package, he comes with a hand that falls off. I'll get that in a minute. Out of the package, it comes with the bomber jacket on zipped up because it, it does have a working zipper right there. Uh, there's no wire in the jacket, but it is fur lined all over the place. Real fur, real textured, nothing plasticky. And the dog tags are an accessory I've added on, so he won't have the dog tags when he comes out of the package. You have to add those on, but the head just pops off, as you'll see. Arm details. A nub. Let me put that back on. Hands pop on real easy because Mezco. So here's your arm details. Very robotic. He's some kind of cyborg. Don't know the story on him yet. Honestly, don't care because you can make it up as you go. So there's the back of the jacket. Lady Luck with a female version of the same kind of thing. Already pre-worn, which is really cool. The fabric feels really good as Mezco tends to do well. Down to the belt, that's a floating piece that's got a propeller well painted on the front. Digital camo pants with pockets that actually work. You can store things inside. No Velcro or anything, but they flap down just fine. But, and here's the boots. Very nice, very nicely detailed. Texture on the bottom. Really, really cool. Let's get the accessory out real quick. As far as articulation on this guy, let me bring him back just a taste. The head has some decent range considering how big and unwieldy it is. But because of the sculpting on the back, you don't get too far up. Not a huge deal. Um, like I said, the jacket's not wired. The arms have this shoulder bit that has, if you look right here, a hinge in it that hinges it out of the way. So there's the texturing even underneath the arm. And because that gets out of the way, he gets all the way up and rotation here. This follows so it can cover down. Double jointed elbow. Wrist, typical wrist from Mezco, the old you saw. Swivel, rotation, anything you want. Pretty standard stuff. So let's get the arms up out of the way. Torso, back, Crunch forward. Not the best crunch forward I've ever seen in a figure. I've got a couple of Mezco Rumble Society and other figures. It's good enough. It's going to get you by. Um, but I have seen more, so it's not bad. Um, for anybody who wants to know, there's a substantial feeling crotch right there. Legs that far out to the side. Double jointed knee, so he can go back that far. Uh, fair warning on anybody that gets theirs out of the box fresh and new. This knee was single jointed until I pressed it and it popped and it made my heart skip a beat, but it's fine. So if something was stuck, I unstucked it and now it's good. 
down here. A little bit of back and forth at the boot. It's not, I think it's connected to the material so it doesn't get a whole lot, but it shifts around enough so you can manipulate it when you're trying to stand him. Um, at the bottom here though, this is the only problem with the figure that I really don't prefer. It's not bad, but it's still, so this is very loose on mine, both of them. So it makes standing pretty difficult. Um, if you look inside there, I believe it's a ball peg into the shoe. So as such, you get, let me see, that much forward, that much back, and then a lot more out. I wonder if these are backwards. Hmm. I'll have to look at the art on this because, nope, nope, according to the art. In the accessories I'll show you, uh, so that's weird. So this, this, in the picture I'm about to show you, this design is on the inside, so they're not backwards, but they get way more out than they do in. Really bizarre. Um, that's the only kind of downside to this guy. Everything else is really, really awesome. Um, so there he is. Let's see if I can actually get him to stand at all in the background, because like I said, he's a little wobbly. Let's see if we can cheat a little. This table that I'm using is a little wobbly as well. He's going to take a nap real quick. There we go. Okay, while he's resting back there, let's go over accessories real quick. So, you get a comic book, which tells... I thought it'd kind of flesh out the story. It really doesn't. Um, it's just kind of his attack on an airship. And there's barely any dialogue, and he wins the day, and that's it. So there's no real backstory here. Which is fine. You can make it up as you go. But Mission X, Death from Above, um, even though he starts on the ground. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. Tray 1 comes with, as you can see here, I'm going to raise oop, the camera up a bit. Tray 1 comes with the figure itself, the alternate head sculpt. All the things falling out of the tray. So let's look at this real quick. Here's the cannon head. And... This thing is really, really awesome. Weathering on it, all kinds of paint, details, and articulated mouth. And inside are rollers that actually roll. Um, some kind of grinder, I guess. So if we take our, we're going to wake up our resting figure, pop his head off very easily, and pop the tank head on. Downside with the tank head, there is no solid pop on. So it fits, it articulates, but it doesn't take much to pop it off. So we're going to leave the uh, tank head on this dude hmm. Hmm. for a minute while we go over the other accessories. So falling out of the tray, you get, I think this is his signature weapon, or at least that's what it was billed as, and he does use it in the comic book, but he, you get a wrench three little grenades. See if I can show that at all. Combat knife. And then in this package as well you get some kind of detonator. Let's take that out. A radio. I guess it could be a radio too. There's that on one side, plane on the other. And then as far as hands you get Open hands to grip the radio, splayed out, stylized hands, fists, and gripping hands. Moving on to tray two. This is your tray two with your blast effects. It has, so this is where the rocket launcher came in. If you want to take a look at that. Very nice and stylized. This is the shoulder rest. This is the handle you saw in the opening, how he held it. So the thing about the rocket launcher is this thing is beautiful and probably one of my favorite accessories he comes with. This is the opening port uh, where the rocket effect would come out. And there's nowhere to peg any kind of blast effect. So if there's something here I'm missing, if there's some adapter piece or something, I don't, I don't know. But that's, that's where we're at. So it, it looks good, but you're not going to be able to have a blast effect coming out that I've noticed. So let's see. Also in this, in this section here, is his new Gatlin gun. This is different than the other Gatlin guns I've seen, where it's got this part here is for his arm to slide through and grip. And then 
he does have spinning barrel. And on this, you actually do see the different ports for the different blast effects. So you get three different blast effects. You get this standard kind of like blast effect. And that does fit in just like that. Yeah. Okay. You get this blast effect. It's like a burst. It's like Bleh. that fits in just fine. Bleh. Great. And then you get this. So this doesn't really work. Well, let me see. It kind of does, but it's not meant to work with this. This blast effect is very specific. So if you don't know Mezco, there's the peg for the blast effect inside. See if you can see that. It's just a tiny little peg. What this one is actually meant for is his cannon face. And be super careful pegging that on. And this is like, a, this is a deadly sneeze. And no tissue is going to help because he's just going to set the tissue on fire. So there's that. And as I said before, the, this head pops off kind of easy. It's not a big deal. If you're careful with it, it's fine. Um, moving through, we have here... And I forgot this part, but you have the ammo clips for the Gatling gun. It just slides in, and there you go. When you have him connected up with the Gatling gun, you get these. Posable cables. Uh, are they posable? No, they're actually pretty rigid. Um, what they're meant for is... There's two different sizes, but the idea is you plug it into the back of the Gatling gun... I promise. I haven't actually done this on mine yet. Plug it into the back of the Gatling gun, and then... And I'm not going to actually do it here because you don't need to see it happen. But then you plug this into the back of his regular head, and it's like he has some kind of mental control over it. Um, don't know. Basically, make it up as you go along. Whatever you're happy with, is, is I'm, I'm going to be happy with, too. Just put it in the comments if you've come up with a story that you thought of as to why this dude um, has to be you know, roped into his Gatling gun. Put those aside. Let me change the head sculpt back. Click. This one is very secure, by the way. Um, anyway, so there's that super, super good dude. Let's go. The final tray is standard Mezco fare. It is his plate with the design on it, the baggie for your accessories, and the Mezco arm that can attach right there to make a sort of flight stand, jumping stand, leaping, posing, whatever your heart's content. So that's everything that this dude comes with. He retails $95 if you were able to get on him. He's waitlisted right now um, on Mezco's website. So if you can get on the waitlist if you want him. Uh, I'm sh Mezco loves to do recolors and reissues of their figures, so I'm sure if you didn't get this release that you will definitely be having another chance to get it. Um, let me see here. Let me get out the box. Let me try this because this table is pretty crappy for getting him to stand up on. And like I said, his standing is not the best. Uh, that's the one downside to this figure that I've seen. So there he is standing finally. Let's see if he stays there for a while. But anyway, here he is with, size comparison wise, a Hasbro Black Series Moff Gideon. Don't know why I chose him. He was the first one on the shelf. And here he is with the Mezco Rumble Society Krig 13 uh, all lit up and ready. In the promotional video for Hawk P40, they use the white Krigs um, to hunt him down, so there's some significance here. But there's your size comparisons. So um, real quick video, just out of the box, just wanted to show you what he comes with, what his articulation looks like, and what his details look like on the figure. He's awesome. He's worth every dollar. Uh, there is. I'm going to try to see if I can tighten up his... Um, articulation here in the boots that aside everything else on this guy is wonderful and I'm really glad I got him and I'm glad I got him so fast from Mezco check out figure action every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time with me and the other guys where we talk absolute garbage about anything and everything action figure and pop culture related 
Check out Team Man 978's channel, link in the description below. And thank you very much for stopping by, and I hope you have a wonderful evening.